All right, you guys, buckle up. Mm-hmm. Buckle up, buttercup, because these factors are some of the tough ones, and it takes practice to get good at them. So let's check out our first tougher factor, okay? All right, the first one that we're looking at here is a factor of six. So the one I'm showing you is actually six times six. Oh my gosh, both the factors are six. This is saying we have a six by six grid or six groups of six, right? So I could write out six, six times, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Add those all together. One by one by one. Or I could think smart and think, oh man, what if we take our six by six array and instead of thinking it a, of it as a six by six, let's take one of those factors and split it, decompose it into numbers that are a little nicer. So now I'm going to look at it as a six by five. See how I broke that up? a six by five, so I cut it off right here. So there's this chunk. And a six by five, or a five by six, well that's kind of nicer because I have a factor of five. And some of you like counting by fives, or you like to flip that to a 10 and take half of that answer. So five times six, well that's nice, that's 30. But then we need a six times six. So we need to add on one more group of six that's sitting right there, which is why we have that right there, one more group of six. So we need to take 30 and add on six more. And we are now at the answer to six times six, which is 36. So when I have a factor of six, I can say, you know what? I'm going to decompose that into a five and one more. And now when I multiply by six, I'm gonna look at it as five groups of six and then one more group of six. So here we are, we're grouping them up into five sixes, which we know is 30, and then one more group of six, okay? All right, let's go to another tough factor. If your seatbelt came unbuckled, buckle up again or double buckle because this factor is a little even more um, uh, tough. Okay, so even though it's my favorite number. All right, so this one is a factor of seven. Whoa, it even has the factor of six in there. So they call this one seven heaven. Seven doesn't take much time, even though it is a prime. If you haven't heard of that, you will in your mathematical future. Here is all you have to do. First times five and then add times two. Oh my gosh, so this one they're asking us to look at it as five again, because seven is close to five. So if I have seven groups of six, here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, that's a lot of sixes. That's seven of them. We wrote that seven times. And if we add those all together, we'd get our answer. But instead of going one by one by one, we're gonna think smart. And we're gonna break it up into one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, five, right? Because it says first times five. Five groups of six. And then add on what's left over, a double which we like doubles too. So it's nice to change a factor that makes our face kind of go, oh, with crying and you're sweating and your eyes are turning, okay? Into factors that make us feel a little better, okay? That we might even love. So I have a factor of five. I could count by fives. I could do 10 times six and take half of it. Either way, I'm going to get 30 which I get there pretty quickly, instead of adding six one by one by one, and then add on the double of six. Well, double six, I know that instantly because I know my doubles, and that is 12. So 30, add on 12 more, and now I'll have my product, my answer to seven times six, 
which is a tough, tough multiplication fact problem. And uh, that is not 40, but 40, say it out loud, louder, louder, good job, two, okay, 42. And there we have it, a factor of seven, it's not so bad. When I have a factor of seven, here's my seven, I'm gonna split it into a factor of five, it's right there on my hands, a factor of five, and then two more, okay? Yeah, make it a five and a two, those are nice factors. Okay, just like we did with a six. When I had a factor of six, I split it into five and one more. Those are nicer to work with, all right? Okay, and one more tough factor. Okay, we buckled up. We did the double buckle. Now we're going to do the triple buckle. We go over, over, and over the top. Okay, it's like we're on a roller coaster because here it comes. The factor of, drum roll, eight. Okay, and this one's called crazy eight. Eight is very much like four. Simply double, but once more. Remember, with four, four eyes, we doubled. Since two times two times two is eight, doubling three times works just great. Holy cow, what is it saying? Okay, let's check this one out in a uh, array. Okay, so let's change it to an eight by six. I'll make that. There's my eight by six. Now it's talking about doubles. So let's check out a double. So instead of eight by six, let's see. Well, if I just go here to a factor of two, see, I changed it to a factor of two. I have a double of six. Ooh, that's nice. And then if I keep going, there is another double. Double, so I actually have a double double going on, which is what we we're talking about with factor four. And then if you notice, this amount here doubles up down here. So we have our double, double, double. Okay, so let's write it out over here to see what we mean. So eight groups of six. So I have six, six, a lot of sixes. That is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Well, that's a lot, that's eight of them. I add them all together, I could go one at a time. Oh my gosh, forever and ever, think smart. So here I have a double, okay? And I know that double, it's 12. And then I have another double, right? Double, double. Well that, if I add those two together, I'm at 24. But then look, my double, double is actually existing over here, it got doubled. So I'm gonna take my double, double, 24, and add it to the other 24. So I've really broken up the six into two, a factor of two and two, and then four more. So you could just look at it as four sixes and four more sixes, 24 and 24, and I am at 48. Eight times six is 48. Or maybe you wanna go back to, you're like, I don't know about that double double thing. I like the fives, because when I make an eight, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could break up of eight, a factor of eight into five and three more. And I can use my five idea, count by fives or half a 10. And then I have my factor of three, which you might like too, because Two is in there. I can think of a double and one more. Okay. All right. Let's try that one more time, an eight times six, just by using our five idea. Okay. Just because it's awesome. So let's change this. We have our eight times six, and we're going to say instead of looking at it as eight by six, we're going to decompose that eight into one, two, three, four, five, I love fives, because five times six is up here, I know that. I can count by fives to get there, or do 10 times six and take half that. And we are at 30. And then I'd go down here and I'd say, oh man, well I have three groups of six. Well down here I could split that up again into a double and one more set of six. Okay, so let's write that out. So I'm gonna take this and decompose it into five and three more. Okay, so now I'm gonna multiply what by six? 
I'm gonna have five being multiplied by six, and then I'm gonna add on three more groups of six, which you're like, well, I don't really like the three. Remember to think smart. We broke that up into two groups, into a two and one more. So we could break that up again and say, well, that's a double six, and you add on one more group of six, okay? So five times six, that's 30. And then I add on my double, which is 12, and then add on six more. So however I wanna add this together, you might like to add these first, get 18, and then add that to 30, and we will get our same answer of 48. All right? Okay, those are the tough factors. So remember, tough factors, buckle up, stay safe, keep practicing. You will only get better.